Hey guys, so I know it's late. You guys are gonna get these videos from me in the late night hour and you can enjoy them for those of you who are still up with me tonight. And for the rest of you, you'll see them tomorrow. Hey, my little booskies, my busted babies, my guardian angels, my love bunnies, my love muffins, my crescent rolls. Um, I guess that's it for now. My faux noodles. <laughs> I'm hungry, y'all. So anyways, I just finished doing a reading on T.D. Jakes. It didn't give me the tea that I wanted. It didn't give me the tea that I needed. So I'm going to read the energy surrounding the Epstein list that just came out. I've talked to you guys in my in my previous T.D. Jakes video about it. I've talked about it in a few videos as I have tapped on trafficking and some of the things that go on in the industry. Some of the rituals and things like that. However, since it's become um, internet fodder, I'll talk about it. As I have said before, I was expecting this list to be different from the one that I have seen a long time ago. And when I said a long time ago, if it wasn't a decade ago when I first saw the documents that have come out today, it was close to it. It was within five to 10 years that I have seen those um, maybe three, five years. It, it's been more than two years. It's been more than three years that I've seen those documents that I first heard about Epstein Island that might have been in like 2019 when I first came up on it. Um, maybe somewhere around then. But the document that they released is the same document that I saw online, you know, on conspiracy um, forums and things like that. And I have to say that they give conspiracy theorists a bad name, but I've heard about this Epstein situation, Epstein and beyond, because Epstein is just the tip of the iceberg. It, it goes so much more deeper. I've even compiled a list of world leaders to read because of this. However, he's just the tip of the iceberg. The things that I've seen, I saw on conspiracy boards and they've all come true years ago. Before I started reading cards on online, I think I, um, I knew about this. So I was expecting when they start talking about the Epstein list coming out, I was already a little bit peaked because why now? It's been online. Like you can, I don't even remember which, because I used to just be up at night and I find myself in one place and then hours later, I find myself on Epstein Island and, and via, uh, via research um, purposes. So I was already curious at why now? Why are they treating like the, treating this like it's new? Um, and, and I'm still curious about that. So we're just going to look into it because like I said, that what you guys saw has been out. It's been known. It's been talked about amongst conspiracy theories in way more detail than what you guys have now. I'm almost starting to think that because people have become more woke now and People aren't making fun of conspiracy theorists anymore. People are listening to them. I think they drug this out in order to create a narrative and get ahead of it before anybody accidentally stumbles on it like I did and like a lot of us did a long time ago and then dig deeper into the what's going on because, honey, let me tell you, the people that they expose on that list are nothing. That's like us, me and you being on the Epstein list. And they tell the world, you heard it first, you heard it first. Adina was on the list. It's like, okay, so who cares about that when the Pope is on the list? And I'm just using him as an example. But like when you have somebody like the Pope and it's just like, uh, people are like, uh oh, there's this list with all these people on there. And it's just like, okay, well, the Pope is on there. So we'll give them... A couple former presidents. 
we'll even throw in some, you know, some other world leader. You know, we'll throw in Prince Andrew because his name is, he's already legally been charged with sexual assault. So we'll throw, we'll throw him in there to legitimize the whole list and make people think that they've got some tea. But they put him out there because he's already publicly gone through legal battles surrounding sexual assault allegations. So that was an easy one. But I believe it was to throw you off the scent of the other things that were alleged in that document that they were not going to show. I'm going to tell you, but they're not going to show it. They talked about the child ritualistic sacrifices that they do on that island. I talked about it in my Hollywood reading because I saw it for myself in the cards. I'm sorry, I have to sniff this to clear up my energy. It's like clear up my sinuses. They did. The first time I came across Epstein Island story or that list, they talked about child sacrifice over in that island. This is not a fairy tale. They talked about demons. They talked about what they will call aliens or fallen angels. They talked about them being live in the flesh beings over there. Again, I saw it in my reading. My reading just cooperated what I read online a long time ago. But that's what else they talk about in those documents. It really has little to do with the sex and more to do with the rituals. Because mm -hmm. if we start talking about the Clintons doing child sacrifice rituals, then we have to re-bring up the stories about the allegations about what happened to those children in Haiti. Where the Clintons had all of their charities and their foundation and all of those missing children in Haiti. Who they were saying were sacrificed or trafficked by the Clintons. So they'll, they'll let us know that these people were on the plane and that they might have been entertaining prostitutes and things like that. So that we, you know, so that that'll be enough for us. It'll shock us to where we won't want to hear anymore. We don't want to hear about them sacrificing children, doing rituals on them. Nobody even wants to believe in that kind of stuff, let alone have documents with survivors in court being de deposed saying this is what happened and this is who did it. You would die. This is why I told you guys for the new year, disconnect from over investing into pop media culture because your heart won't be able to take all the break all right spirit talk to me about the epstein flight list that came out and the parts that they heavily kept secret why now that document is old why did they release it now why did they release it now why are they allowing it to become public now when the case itself is old it's old these people what's going to happen to them when this has already been in the works for years what's going to happen to them now because if it was something that was going to happen shouldn't it have happened a long time ago when this okay so let's see hmm Five of Pentacles reversed. You know what this smells like to me? Those refugee camps. This smells like the refugee camps that we had a couple of years ago when Trump was in office. This smells like the wall, the border he was trying to build. This smells like the missing children in Haiti. This smells like the 2,000, allegedly roughly estimated 2,000 children missing from Maui in the wildfires. This smells like all the missing women and children that we've always had to draw question marks around. The challenge is people looking into what happened to them. The challenge with this list is people looking into what happens 
to missing children and women. The problem with this list is looking into what else The problem is that when Trump got in office, something about that border, something about the refugee camps and the allegations that were made about something happening to children there, being separated from their families, being abused. The challenge is somebody looking into those things, all of these things. So I think that they have to give something to the people to satisfy their curiosities about some things we haven't been able to put to bed so that people won't go looking further into anything else. If the veil, the high priestess, if the veil is the challenge of missing children, missing families, missing women specifically, then there's something that doesn't need to be further looked into surrounding that topic. Recent past, this is them going on those trips. Everybody's talking about the flight logs, who, who was on the plane. Nobody's questioning where they were going exactly and what they were doing. That's the bigger question. That's what the people should be asking. Near future, disassociation. Because see, the people that they gave us are not the people that we want to see. The people that they gave us on that flight list are not the people that matter. This was a bad exchange of information, bad tea being spilled, stale tea, one-sided tea that allows certain people to get out of this relationship with this flight list. As above, these people are trying to get out of, stay out of jail. Me thinks that some of them may have been arrested, may have been charged with something, may have did some house arrest, some probation or something until like some pre-trial something. I don't know, behind the scenes, but I think that most of this is people wanting to stay out of jail. And I think the only person that would have put them in jail was Trump. I think that the majority of Trump's presidency was trying to put people in jail. My subscribers don't, don't care for when I mention Trump in ways that aren't negative. However, this is unbiased. It's not negative or positive because I don't care. What I'm saying is Trump's entire presidency was based on getting rid of these people and their activities so that the U.S. could now be run on square biz. Trump may have felt fallen out of his association with the underground government, with those people. And so now the only way he can thrive is by square biz. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to run for the presidency and I'm going to try to get rid of all of you who kicked me out of the cool club and no longer want to do business with me. I'm going to now turn the presidency into, um, into like the task force for these people that I used to associate with. Because if I can't do business with you under the table underground anymore, then I'm going to do legit square biz and I'm going to turn the U.S. into square biz. No more of the underground business that we were used to since I can't participate. Maybe that is his angle. At the end of the day, sometimes you can't really care about why. You can't really care about the motive if the overall outcome serves the highest good. Even if it's self-serving for one person, if he's trying to get rid of people who sacrifice, who traffic, who do horrible, horrible things to women and children, then I don't mind whatever his, his motives are. I don't care. So below, being exposed. Like I said, I saw this flight log and 
the legal documents, some of the depositions that came out years and years and years ago. So it has been public. The problem is though, anybody else, as long as they can't get, get before it, get ahead of it, as long as it's underground, as long as it's conspiracy fodder, it can turn into something that can put them into jail. If it's left in the hand of the people to find and bring to the courts, if it's left left to us, if we find it, put enough fire and steam to it, it'll turn into something. If they take it and give it to us on a platter, we'll take whatever they gave us. Because a lot of people didn't even know about it to begin with. Advice and current actions. I see the people that are involved on this list are feeling away. They're feeling paranoid. They're feeling thrown under the bus. They are feeling scared. Like there's no, there's nothing I can do to fight this. They'll probably all tiptoe around it. Won't address it head on if they're smart. They won't address it head on because ain't no way they'd be able to come out and say this list is false. And and I think maybe somebody did. Who did they say addressed it already? I saw it briefly. And it was somebody. Oh, Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. Y'all, they are trying to water down the tea. If Whoopi Goldberg was on this man's plane, she just chartered this man's plane. Whoopi Goldberg was not in on the shenanigans. They are doing that on purpose to throw us off of the scent of the people who we need to be concerned about. Sure enough, Epstein did some square biz with some people. He had to. Everybody wasn't able to be in on the what's going on with the elites. So sure, I'll charter my plane. I'll charter my island for some resort style things for some lower level people who aren't in the know. Whoopi Goldberg is one of them. She will never be in the know. She will never want to be in the know. Okay? So if they said Whoopi Goldberg was on that flight, maybe she was, but not in the way that these other people were. There were people who were on the flight thinking that they were going to enjoy a nice, you know, Epstein Island. They didn't know what was going on for real there because they weren't a part of the elite. Do not let them distract you with people who do not matter. Whoopi Goldberg, she wasn't doing shit. Naomi Campbell, mm. the Clintons, mm. digging all of them. Digging all of them, digging the Prince Andrew too, even though his tea has been spilt. Keep digging, because I'm gonna do a reading on his mammy. Don't let them fool you with the people who don't matter. And don't let them distract you with celebrities on that list so that we get caught up in, oh my God, Whoopi Goldberg, oh my God, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Dig a little deeper. What were the Clintons doing there? Not Whoopi. People that hold weight. And Naomi Campbell, because she holds weight. She's been involved in, in so many scandals She's been involved with so many powerful royals, rich men, dictators, external energy, ace of wands in reverse. People, people are going to be denying that their involvement, denying, denying, denying. I wasn't. I didn't. I would never. And it's true. Because some people really didn't. Like I said, Whoopi Goldberg. I, I, there was no reason... There was no reason for them to add her in there other than to dilute, dilute the tea. Hopes and fears, though, is that while they're throwing out decoys, the real parties will be discovered the real culprits they're afraid of people mentioning rituals sacrifice people who have died because those stories are there 
I can tell you guys one directly now of a little girl, a boy, I believe. I'm going to do another reading on Naomi. So that she can talk about her experience on the island as a young girl and in other various places where they do the same thing, allegedly, based on my crazy ass medical metaphysical opinion. You guys, I told y'all I'm crazy. I read picture cards. I smoke weed. So don't believe anything I say. I'm crazy. They don't want people talking about the deaths. The story. Once upon a time, there were children. Some really um, young models, some trafficked from various places, and they were all blindfolded and let in in chains to Epstein Island through a, a secret location on the property. And there was a secret entrance where the slaves were brought in. And they were having a fancy party for a bunch of wealthy, well-known, powerful, and prestigious people. Now, I'm not going to go verbatim, but there were stories about these people being ushered into another part of the island where they could enjoy whatever delicacy they liked. And then afterwards, there were some ritualistic games were played. Games that were violent and could end up in death for the slaves. Kind of like, um, what is that hunting game? Where they um, take a person and send them off into like a field, a forest, and then the, uh, the hunter comes and tries to hunt them down as they run. Something like that. They had ritualistic games. They allowed ritualistic sex, orgies, things like that, allegedly. And then they did real, 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 real rituals and, and gave some of the slaves that were never seen again were offered to beings and deities. Things like that. It's a mixture of ritualistic sex. Because that's where all the, the mention of pedophilia comes from. And you wonder, why are people, why are these people so horny? How come all these celebrities get involved in rape and pedophilia and sexual assault and trafficking? But if you know a thing or two about the occult, and I'm not talking about burning candles... I'm not talking about love spells. I'm not talking about success spells. I'm talking about occult rituals. High level, high level occult rituals that ain't got nothing to do with the nan candle. Sex is used and trauma is used. I'll just say that. Trauma can be used. Sex is the rawest form of magic that we can do. Because when we have it, boom. A baby is created. New life. Sex is magic. Period. Final outcome. Somebody will be willing to dig around a little bit in this Epstein case. They won't be able to completely let get everybody away scot-free. And I'm not talking about the low-hanging fruit. Someone will dig around based on what they gave us and then... And then think, okay, well, if this, then there must be more. Somebody will look for more. And there is more. Somebody will look for it. Somebody will feel like they will repeat what I just said. That they gave us celebrities and certain people in order to avoid a real tower moment. And that's true. That is true. All right. This has
has to do with the next scandal that's coming because here are the same cards that I pulled. So when I was asking Spirit about the next scandal that's coming, it'll have something to do with someone on that list. I think, because who is this hermit? That's what made me think um, religious leader. Trump held back information successful. I don't know. What if Trump starts speaking? What if people start plugging together the puzzle pieces that even I just briefly put together? The Trump era. This is homework for you guys. Go on Google after you watch this video and type in how many CEOs resigned in 2018. Do that. Just do that. And then see if you see articles about a record number of businessmen, CEOs, CE CFOs that stepped down from their businesses, stepped down from their positions, or committed suicide. I remember 18 very vaguely, so I don't have to Google it because I remember being there for it and watching it all play out and knowing what was going on behind the scenes. I knew that. Operation Drain the Swamp, as Trump called it, was him coming for them boys that he used to run with. The people that matter the most have already gotten out of the way. If we can link major, major brands, major, major corporations to Epstein and then continue to connect dots, think about what would happen to the American society, economy, to the collective consciousness. Because I think everybody would just be like, mind effed. Nothing we thought we knew, we knew. No one we thought we knew, we knew. None of this has been real. Everything has been a lie. A lot of people won't be able to handle that mentally. This is why I tell some people who want to get into spirituality or who want to force their new spiritual practices on their family who may still be religious, don't do that. Let everyone evolve and learn in their own season because if they don't come around to it, trying to force a new, a new consciousness on them before they've shed the old one, will almost make them lose their mind. You can't necessarily just go to someone and tell them everything that they've based their life on. If you base your life on being a good Christian so you can die and go to heaven, and someone gives you evidence that there is no heaven, what do you think that would do to a person's psyche once they come into that realization and then overlook their whole life and think, did I ever know anything? So... That's what this could possibly have, the effect it could possibly have on society. Um, if, if you really got into the bigger picture, not just the low-hanging fruit that they gave us with that. It's like something was given in order It's like something was given with the the, the with the names of the people on the industry who were um included but Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's like these were people that we can afford to lose.
something was offered in order for people not to ask more questions or dig deeper. That flight list. And who is this emperor? Trump. President Trump became public enemy number one because of his beef with whomever would like for the activities that were being done on Epstein Island to continue. Um, they waged war with Trump and Trump waged war with them. Now, why is Kamala here? I see Kamala Harris, allegedly. Mother children sued. Wasn't she at the border somewhere doing something? Kamala? Kam Kamala? Something about the refugees, the mother and the children at the border. She was there to keep something quiet. She was there on a cleanup mission as well. Keep people from finding out what really happened to them. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry to say this about someone that you hold dearly. I actually know nothing about this lady. I um, did not vote in the most recent election. I didn't vote for Biden. I didn't vote for Kamala. Um, when everybody was wearing chucks and pearls on the day that she was elected, I was just like, I, I don't drink the Kool-Aid. I made my own freshly squeezed lemonade and I drank that. Because I made it myself. So I know what's in whatever tea that I'm sipping because I get it myself. This is why I don't jump on bandwagons. I don't watch a lot of TV because I don't like the media being able to send signals into my mind and my psyche via my, my eyes, what I see, my ears, what I hear. I read a lot of books. I get a lot of my news and stuff from reading them online. Um, I don't, like I said, don't watch a lot, a lot of TV. You guys shouldn't because Kamala Harris, whatever she was doing over there with those women and children, it was to keep people from finding out what the government was really doing over there. And allegedly how our government gives money to a lot of other nations for reasons that are not, and I'm sorry, I'm just following what I see in the cards, that are not for what they say they are for. Did anybody do send donations or anything like that to collect money for those women and children on the borders or something like that, maybe collecting donations for some kind of cause, some kind of tragedy, Maui, whatever situation that was that caused those refugees to be over in the border. I can't even remember what situation happened to cause those FEMA tents that and the, those FEMA stations where Kamala had to go and visit. But they were spending it on something else. Hmm. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Another foreign man. Obama? Because this is my black people card. Obama. I see he didn't want his name on the list. He didn't want. See, his this couldn't come out when Obama was in office. It couldn't come out when Obama was in office, but it was already out then. Because they couldn't allow him to have any kind of friction with the black community. He had to appear upstanding 
for the black community so that he could control the black people during his years, during his term. But there was a reason why Obama, and I'm, I'm sorry, I, this has never been my opinion before. It's only my opinion now, reading the bottom of the deck. They needed him to distract the black people during his terms while something else was happening behind the scenes. Something was being established behind the scenes when Obama was in office. This couldn't have come out while he was in office because he had to help them. And by them, I see a conglomerate of other leaders, nations. This has nothing to do with the U.S. government. It's not like the U.S. government came and said, okay, Obama, we need you to do your job. We need you to do this. This is a conglomeration of other nations, not even the U.N. This is like a shadow U.N., the shadow government. They needed him to be in office for those terms. And they needed him to have a certain image. The image of the savior. The people's president. The beloved president. But there was something going on to distract us that they were establishing. By they, world leaders were establishing something. While, while we were watching Obama and praising him for being such an eloquent, attractive, cool, handsome, you know, all of those things. He was, he was just a distraction. And don't believe Obama didn't ask for his name to be taken off the list too. But they don't care about him now that he's done his part. And black people will probably still find a way to defend whomever they feel like are beloved. However, I can promise you Whitney Houston, I mean, Whoopi Goldberg ain't, ain't with the shenanigans. I promise. I'm just going to look into this high priestess reverse challenging that was, and then I'm done. There's secrets being locked tight. Like I said, people looking into missing women and children in various scenarios in our most recent history within the past several years. I would say from Obama's administration to present, missing women and children, Organ harvesting, missing women and children, sex trafficking, all of these are what they don't want us looking into and connecting the dots to. Because if we don't see those as isolated incidents, but see them as um, smaller pieces of something larger, a larger web, then maybe just maybe the people, the U.S. people, the people of the citizens of the world will be successful in overthrowing and overturning the shadow government and corrupt leaders. Just maybe. See, they had to do something about other things that could come out if people start um, like I mentioned in the Cat Williams reading, people would start revisiting old stories, old rumors that have been ignored in the past, maybe overlooked because we were saying, oh, that person's a tinfoil hat where they're a conspiracy theorist. They're always, you know, nobody believes those conspiracies and people would start spinning the block and started going, start going beyond the veil and pulling back those curtains on missing women, children, and other cases like that in our society. Refugee camps, people missing from places that experience some kind of tragedy or trauma or terrorist attack or natural disaster, anything like that. Missing women and children, period. 
where we can't we can't just solve their case and it's just like why do we have so many missing women and children how come the police the dcf system i mean if we start connecting the dots to some of these things we will see what's really going on we'll be able to see the matrix for what it is <laughs> me thinks that this list came out around the Obama era maybe into his first term heading into his second term maybe before then I see Obama was sent in to temper temper things keep things tempered with his suave and his eloquence and his charm and people, you know, comparing him to MLK and Malcolm X at first. One more card, Five of Pentacles Reverse. If people go looking for these missing women and children who were sold, sold. These are American citizens who are completely unaware of the businesses that America is involved in. The children, citizens, children of America being forcefully taken against their will. Being harvested for various things. There are so many industries so many black market industries, so many under the ground industries where they're still doing experiments, conducting research, and they haven't come out with this new technology because medicine and things like that is going to be called technology in the future. These are new technological advances that they are currently running tests on, so they need test material. And because they're working with beings, real beings, that is half sacrifice. That is the sacrifice, the payment, the sacrifice for these beings helping them with this intelligence, this extraterrestrial intelligence that they're assisting them with that allows them to forward our society into this technological age. And the age of Aquarius is all about innovative technology. So in order to do so, they have to commune with beings. Some exist in some remote locations throughout the world. Some they conjure up in high level magical ceremonies. Um, and some, you know, walk around in the flesh. But the price is the people. You have to, in order to conduct or develop this type of technology that they're developing for the future. I'm, ta I'm talking thousands of years beyond for the future. They have to conduct experiments. They have to do research. Missing women, children, they're a part of that research, whether they are being given to deities as offerings whether they are being trafficked and sacrificed, harvested for their organs, you name it. There are so many various businesses. However, if we take what they gave us from this list and dig deeper, use our collective knowledge. There are people who, like me, there are people who know things about that list and the things, the, the events surrounding that list from before it became a thing. There are plenty of people who have things to say that have been saying things, especially as it relates to sacrifices, ritualistic child rituals, people, any, any of that thing, any of those things that do have everything to do with this list. People have been talking, they just haven't been heard. Dig around, you'll find it. Me thinks we won't have to dig too much though. And they will do what they can to contain and control the narrative because they know by making it public and making a headline in order to control the narrative, it'll do that. But it's a double edged sword. It'll also 
um, irritate a hornet's nest. And they'll be ready to try to control that narrative as well. But that's my reading on the Epstein list. You guys, we will, I'll, I'll take you guys down the rabbit hole and this will be a thing. So I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow on my next reading. I will pick a good one. All right, you guys. Bye.